The headquarters of each branch of the Marist family are in Rome. First, a visit to the Marist Fathers. There are nearly 1,000 of them worldwide. Like the other branches, they follow the example of Mary. Nosotros expresamos el carisma o deseamos expresarlo eh, desde un ejercicio del ministerio ordenado de manera mariana, de, de una manera sencilla, María siendo laica, eh, eh, y nosotros como con la misión de hacerla presente en el mundo estamos llamados a un ejercicio del ministerio ordenado de una manera muy distinta a la que generalmente vemos eh, eh, entonces sí tratando de ser una presencia de misericordia sencilla humilde discreta eh, en una iglesia que muchas veces tiende a hacer lo contrario una iglesia que, 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 que nos muestra un poquito un rostro a veces muy clerical poder ejercer el ministerio ordenado de una manera, eh, a la manera de María, como instrumentos de misericordia, con sencillez, con simplicidad. Aunque no tenemos ministerios particulares, eh, sí tenemos ministerios eh, por los que desde el origen que hemos hecho una opción, como son la educación y las misiones rurales. Tenemos también parroquias, eh, parroquias en centro de ciudad, tenemos centros juveniles, eh, tenemos obras para migrantes en distintos países, eh, en fronteras, y, y tenemos proyectos en esas áreas, en, en algunas de esas áreas, tenemos por, por ejemplo un proyecto para una escuela eh, en Senegal, que, que estamos muy entusiasmados con, con ella, fundamentalmente con, para la educación de, de niñas musulmanes, eh, eh, que, que creemos que eso nos ayudará, seguirá colaborando a que sea, pues, atender puentes interreligiosos, etc. This is the home of the newest branch, which is one of the two female ones. It's where they lead their congregation of nearly 500 members. The Superior General explains what it's like to be a Marist missionary sister. We are a very dispersed congregation. We're in 24 countries. We have women from almost 40 nations and cultures. We are multicultural, international communities. Are at the core of who we are, we are agentes missionaries. We leave our country, our culture. We set out, we set out again. It's very challenging to do that in today's world. And uh, some of the challenges we face are we are having women from countries asking to join us from countries where we are not present. The challenge of formation, of discernment, of vocation, of ongoing education to meet the needs of mission today. We can no longer meet the needs of 1845. The cries of the poor who are on the peripheries today, that's the challenge for us to be with our resources, with our limitations and who we are. We're not a huge congregation, but we have the same daring and zeal of our pioneers and we must respond with the faith and courage they had the same spirit. We have sisters in pastoral ministry, we have teachers, we have very few schools ourselves. Normally we, we work in other facilities, diocesan schools, uh, we have healthcare workers, we have women who have, when I entered working with leprosy, people with, who were victims of leprosy, we were known for that. And I worked in a leprosarium for my first three and a half years as a missionary. We now have sisters who are trying to address the needs of people with AIDS. What, what are the new needs today? We have women working with human trafficking. We have sisters who are in Cameroon collaborating with the Jesuit refugee services at the moment. They're in a new project to welcome refugees in Cameroon from Central Africa Republic. We have three sisters there. So we try to say, what are the new needs today? How can we collaborate with others to respond to those needs? We cannot do it ourselves. We need to really collaborate with others. Next stop is the headquarters of the Marist Brothers located in the south of Rome. They are the largest in number with over 3,000 in all continents. Their primary focus is educating children and youth. 
em janeiro de 1817, Marcelino já começa o Instituto, por causa, como sabemos, do impacto do encontro com o jovem Montaigne. No nosso caso, o que o padre Champagnat trazia no coração e nos transmitiu, somos herdeiros eh, do carisma de Champagnat, é a dedicação específica aos jovens e às crianças nesse, nessa missão de educação e de evangelização. Essa é a nossa característica. E outro destaque eu faria a fraternidade, ser irmãos, o que nos aproxima muito justamente dos jovens, pela simplicidade de vida que procuramos testemunhar. Just off the Via Aurelia is the general council of the Marist sisters. In comparison to the brothers, they are the smallest group with just under 300. Through their work, they try to imitate their foundress, Jean-Marie Chavoin. We've had um, education as a big part of our life in the past, but now we have sisters who quietly bring forth that life in others, in prisons, uh, with refugees, in parishes, with grieving people, celebrating with people. It's more like the village life that our foundress was living. Wherever we happen to be, I think we just share the life of the people and be what they need us to be at the time. Something that the companion of our foundress said, I think gives us a little insight here. Marie was in the latter stages of her life. She thought she was dying. She spoke to the community gathered around and she spoke about Jeanne Marie, our foundress. She said of her, It is she who has brought me forth to the life of grace. And I believe that that actually gives an insight into what our life and mission is all about. Bringing forth others to the life of grace and being brought forth ourselves. I mean to the fullness of life, to the richest way to live life to the depth of what it's all about, a life in relationship with God, with others, and with our earth. This is the Basilica of Notre Dame de Fourvières in the French city of Lyon. All Marists will come together here on the 23rd of July. They will celebrate the 200th anniversary of the pledge made by 12 young men to establish the family. Marcelino, integral this first group, de jovens sonhadores, podemos dizer, jovens sacerdotes, alguns ainda seminaristas, e habitados, creio eu, por uma, uma grande fé, e uma paixão por Deus, pela missão, pela igreja, e o amor a Maria, uma confiança muito grande em Maria, e a vontade de justamente dar à igreja, ou fazer crescer, desenvolver, o rosto mariano da igreja. É isso que vamos celebrar. Uma promessa que, em poucos anos, foi se tornando realidade. E sabemos, inclusive, que Champagne não esperou muito. Começou logo a desenvolver o ramo dos irmãos. É muito bonito para mim que nós vamos poder fazer isso juntos, os quatro ramos maristas, justamente em Lyon, na colina de Fourvière, no próximo ano. A lot of our sisters are going to be at Fourvière for the celebration, but most will be preparing through various reflections and prayers during the year leading up to that moment. And of course it means a great deal to us, because even though our sisters weren't present at that first Pledge of Fouvier, in the minds of those 12 young men, there was the sense of beginning something bigger than just a male congregation. They saw a tree with many branches, men, women, those consecrated through vows and lay people. So we believe that we were right there in the beginning, in their minds and hearts. Nosotros celebramos la promesa de Fourvière como un momento en que no había ramas. Era, era solo un proyecto, la, la, el proyecto de la Sociedad de María que después 
por la decisión de, de, de la Santa Sede de aprobarnos como, ram, como institutos distintos, creció como un, ramo, como un árbol de distintas ramas y, y, así, y nos sentimos muy unidos, eh, corre por nuestras ramas la misma savia y los frutos que queremos dar son los mismos, así como, la man, como un manzano da manzanas este, en cada una de sus ramas, por diferentes que sean, nosotros como familia marista en este año de, de la de la um, promesa, de la celebración de la, del Bicentenario de la Promesa, así queremos reconocernos que mirar a las distintas ramas eh, dando los mismos frutos de, de, de vida, de solidaridad, a un estilo muy particular que es el que tenemos como don llevando el nombre de María que, que, que ella misma nos ha dado para llevar adelante. We are part of the four, the whole Maris family, and we have joined with the Maris family, our, our four branches of the religious congregations have sent out a message to all of our members to really take this year of Fuvier year seriously, to celebrate it throughout the year, not just to wait until next year, July 23rd, but for each community, each grouping of the Maris family to do that consciously, intentionally, to gather, to reflect on the promise of Fuvier, but how does it impact us today? What commitment do we recommit ourselves to today? to be part of the whole Marist family. The Marist intuition that Father Colan expressed so well in his spirituality is what draws us to, to adhere to the Marist spirit today. And our charism, as SMSM, we are first missionaries, we are attached to the Society of Mary, we are Marist, and we are religious women. And we try to integrate those three elements in our lives. And so we're encouraging our sisters to join other members of the family. We're part of something bigger than ourselves, and we need to engage with that.